Whether you're in survival or creative in Minecraft, building a house is one of the most important things that you can do. Whether it's a place to rest your head at night or store those most precious of items. Well, in Minecraft Education Edition, the agent makes it really easy for us. Let's jump in and take a look. In the make code, we're going to be using a chat command TP for agent teleport to player and another one for house. When we type house into chat followed by two numbers, which we're going to have variable names of length and height, we can have our agent build for us based on those arguments. We're going to set active slot to one so we can build with the first item in the agent's inventory and then three loops. Inside of each of those loops, we have a repeat height and a repeat length variable passed in. We want the agent to place a block forward and move to the left one space every time. And once the agent has placed blocks the length that we desire, the agent will move up and move back to the right, the total length. Afterwards, we need the agent to turn left and go back the length that we assigned in our argument, plus one. We then want the agent to move forward by one, turn left, and head down the height that we assigned in our variable when we did our chat command. This will get the agent to continue building each wall for a total of four walls. Then to have the agent create a door, we need the agent to move back at the beginning, the length divided by two, so that we get right in the center of where we established our wall length. We're going to destroy forward, move forward, destroy upwards, and then move backwards and change the active slot to position number two, so that the agent can choose the door from the inventory. Then the agent will place the door in front of them. So run the command, type into chat house, space the length you want, space the height that you want, and then click run. Now that's it for the agent building a house with four walls, but what about the roof? We're going to need to try to investigate this a little bit further. If you want to try it as a challenge, you can go ahead and do that. You're going to be using the length and height variables that we established earlier, but we're going to be, for this video, creating a function. We're going to pass those variables into the function so that we can have the agent build a roof based on those same parameters. Let's jump in and check it out. Let's begin by creating a function. Our function is going to be named build roof, and we're going to have two arguments that we pass in, length and height. We could have kept those num1 and num2, but we're going to have them match up with our variables from the chat command. We're going to pass them in, so position 1 and position 2 are length and height values. The agent active slot is going to be 3, which is the block that we want the roof to be made out of, and we need the agent to move up the height plus an additional 1, so that the agent is standing above the height of the wall. Then the agent's going to move to the right, the length divided by 2. We were standing at the door in the center of a wall, so we need to be standing back at the corner. Two loops, both with an operator of length plus 1, and inside of the nested loop, the agent's going to be moving forward and placing down. This will continue until the length of the wall is met plus an additional 1. Then the agent will move back the length of the wall plus 1, and then move to the left each time. This will ensure that the agent builds the length of the wall to match the length of the roof. Run the command just as before so that the agent builds your four walls and then after that's complete it will call the build roof function and there you have it, a house. And that's going to be it for this video on Minecraft Education Edition with the agent building us a house. We hope you enjoyed this content. Leave a like and a sub down below if you want to see more content like this. We really appreciate you sticking around.